Hey guys, Chris, the DIY technician here. I uh, just wanted to make a quick video of something that uh, I had trouble with, and hopefully I can help someone in the in the future here. Um, I have to print a lot of things for work uh, for like shipping labels, and I bought a thermal printer. It's a Jaden's thermal printer. I got it on Amazon, and I was having a lot of issues with the uh, sizing of the label whenever I would print from the postal service. So I found a fix, I guess, um, that, you know, I wish I came across. I would have made my life easier. I've been screwing with it for probably like over an hour now. And it's been pretty frustrating. And all the things I see online, I can't really, um, they don't really help me out. So I did this. This worked for me. I mean, this is probably not the most efficient way, but hey, if you're just trying to print labels as a one-off, um, this will probably help you out. So what I did is I found a, a dummy label on Google and um, I just downloaded it and then I, I saved that as a PDF. So let's just say this is our label here and this is what I have. Uh, so I'm opening this up with uh, Microsoft uh, Edge. So all I did was right click and you're gonna click web capture and essentially you're gonna just left click and drag the image like so. And then this is automatically gonna pop up. So I click copy. And then what I did is I went to Microsoft Word and then opened up a new document and I went ahead and pasted it. So as you can see here, this takes up the whole page, but if you go to a little thermal printer, which is only a four by six, it looks extremely like shrunken. So if you print it like that, it's not gonna come out correct. Um, so if I go to my printer here, you see how small it is. So what I found was if you change this to, instead of eight by five by 11, you go to four by six, which is the size of the thermal printer, it still looks, uh, messed up like it's too zoomed in and it does it's not going to print correctly so what i found is you do two things so if you go to margins here and then go to custom margins and what i did was just put zero so zero for top zero for left zero for right uh zero for bottom and then i clicked okay and then what i did was i went back as you can see here it's still kind of messed up but if you left click the image it'll allow you to like do this and you can shrink it to, or I mean, fit it as best as you can. And what I did is it went something like this. And then whenever I did that, I went back to print. It shows you exactly what it's gonna print. So before I was getting uh, these really tiny images on my four by six uh, paper and it was impossible to read. So me doing this, as soon as I printed it, it um, it expanded the image to the exact size of the uh, label, and that way it was much easier to um, to read, and that way I can just drop it off with the postal service and and all that. So, as a quick little video, um, again, I was fighting with this for over an hour, and I just figured this out by myself just by screwing around with it. So hopefully this helps you guys out in the future. Um, and if it does, you know, give it a like, give me a subscribe. I post random things up here for things that you can do yourself. But yeah, if you guys have any questions, just go ahead and leave comments. And uh, my name is Chris. I'm a DIY technician, and I'll see you guys later.